Well, this is Artifacts of Mars, and once again, scientists are doing something which is rather, I don't know what they call it, unethical, what you call it, but it don't look very good. Motherless babies, possible scientists create life offspring without need for a female egg. I'm going to explain what they're doing. They take sperm and they take a human cell of some kind and they chop off half of the chromosomes. So in other words, well, wouldn't that be a human cell? So in other words, you have 23 instead of 46. If you, if it was a human cell, then they let the sperm do its shot. The way it would with an egg. And I don't know what the implications on this. I don't need to think this one over. Landmark experiment, experiment by the University of Bath rewrites 200 years of biological teaching could pave the, pave the way for a baby to be born from the DNA of two men. It's always thought that a human, well, only a female egg could spark changes in a sperm required to make baby because an egg forms a special kind of cell division, in which case half the number in which just half the number of the chromosomes are carried over. Sperm cells form in the same way, so that they, when the sperm and the egg meet, they form a full genetic quota with half of our DNA coming from our mother and half coming from our father. Now scientists have shown that embryos could be created from cells which carry all the chromosomes, in it, which means that in theory, any cell in the human body can be fertilized by a sperm. This is bizarre. Three generations of mites have already been created using technique and are fit and healthy and now researchers are planning to test out the theory using skin cells. Right. Dr. Tony Perry, a Montclair biologist and senior author of the study, said some people say start the day with an egg, but what's this paper says is you don't necessarily have to start development with, with one. It's been thought that only an egg was capable of reprogramming sperm to allow embryonic development to take place. Our work challenges that dogma. Held since early embryologists first observed mammalian eggs around 1827 and observed fertilization 50 years later. And only an egg fertilized with sperm cell can result in life and mammalian birth. But you're still going to need a mother anyway to put it in. But into you need a mother to carry it to term, right? We're talking about different ways of making embryos. Imagine that you can take skin cells and make embryos from them. That would have all kinds of utility. For initial experiments, scientists tricked an egg into developing into an embryo using special chemicals, which makes the egg think it has been fertilized. Crucially, the cells in the embryo copy themselves completely when they divide, so, and so mirror closely most other cells in the body, such as skin cells. When scientists injected embryos with sperm, they grew into healthy mice, which went on to produce their own litters. Although the researchers began an egg cell for the experiment. They do not believe it is required to spark the same development. 
In theory, the techniques should work with any cell in the body as long as half the chromosomes are moved, removed. First, allow them to fuse with sperm's chromosomes. So, really, what they've done is completely bastardized the concept of creation. Like I said, I'll have to think this one over. It's kind of utterly bizarre, but it worries me the way these people are tinkering with things. I'm agnostic, so I don't know about being created by some big old powerful god or anything, but this just rubs me the wrong way. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Good God.